Hey everybody, I'm Rob, this is Tin Plated. And I'm Sean, and we, meaning the person we summoned, killed Quaylog! Yeah, we're coming off a big win! Yup, there's a little side path back here that I wanted to take a look at. Uh, oh, and then we're just sort of schlupping along. Yeah, really trying to figure out, like, it showed us an option for somewhere to go, but... And then there's this one, too. God. Yeah, there's about there's a million paths unfolding before us, and... There's the water wheel back there that we, uh... Like, we know we have to end up at the gate with the big melancholy dude in front of it. Yeah. It's just a question of where we go between then and now. This yeah. is taking you down to that lava. This really is not... I not wish making me feel happy. What, what are those? What the hell is... Demon ruins. Turn and there's around. another bonfire. Turn okay, around. So, okay, not, so this... We aren't supposed to be here yet. I don't think. But anyway, there's another bonfire there, so we lose nothing by by backtracking. It'll be... A lot of bonfires in this one area. I'm going to guess that means we're going to get... Uh, we're going to get absolutely decimated. Yeah. The real frustrating part is with with our souls, and we popped all the, the, the item souls that we had. We're so close to getting our strength high enough to use that big wooden club, and we're just not there. Yeah, and really, I mean, just right now, it's trying to figure out what's the best move. We don't know which way to go, uh, and it's just... I I'm sure those of you who have played are like, Oh my god, you idiots don't know about the painfully obvious... But we're not you, so blow me. Uh, is this an illusory wall? It says, amazing armor, but also dead end. It's well, not illusory. Um. Uh, armor ahead. Amazing armor ahead. Um. Dead end ahead. Well, why would this path be here if it doesn't go anywhere? Maybe it goes somewhere later. Oh. Let's just go back. Let's go up the water wheel and figure all this out later. All right. I guess we'll have to come back down here in a little while. We know we will because we have to go down to the demon ruins. Maybe? Why would they build a level we don't have to go to? I... Maybe they take the open-ended uh, game design philosophy very, very seriously. Good thing we didn't skip Quaylog. Yeah. Because we rang that bell. Yup. Damn it, I yeah. really wish we hadn't wasted the fucking Firekeeper soul. Yeah, that'd be nice. Can, can we... Does that really just drop down to... Yeah. Ugh. Oh. Try boss. Yeah, I mean, is it possible to come from this direction? I think it is. I really do. But, but one comfort ahead. Well, there is, after a fashion. Yeah, but if you could come from this direction, the cutscene had her crawling uh, down those stairs. Different cutscene, then. You really think they'd do that? Animate and render two separate cutscenes? I don't know. I really think they do that? They seem to do... Just go in the programming and make cutscenes? Yeah. I used a meme. Sort of. Much nerd. So lame. Try hitting them in one swoop. Wow. I I'm surprised that's an option. Try hitting them in one swoop. Yeah. I really don't know how this phrasing works, but I know there must be a word bank because I haven't seen any sort of racial slur. Yeah. Well, just just the the way the phrases are structured, they seem very formulaic. Yeah. Be wary of. Try X. Yeah. Although I can't take this as an option. Well, I mean, honestly. Seems very appropriate for the setting. All in all. Alright, um... It'd be cool if the bugs were gone because we killed their queen. <sighs> oh, goody, our frame rate is dropping again. Yay! Oh, we were done with this.
Fuck you, Blight Town. Oh my god. I mean, I get that it's a suboptimal port. I get that. The people who, who did the port uh, I mean, from software flat out said, we don't, we don't really know PC, so if we port this game, it's not going to... Yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah. Wow. Our frame rate got so bad, it kicked us back to the damn menu. Wow. Game may not have been... Pl Did I lose progress because they kicked me out because they're shitty fucking software? Oh. Everybody buckle up. We may be about to see Sean literally burst into flames from rage. Oh my god, I got an error with frame rate detection online mode. We're in Blight Town. Town, that much is legit. Really? It just starts me exactly right back here. Don't bitch! Whatever. Don't bitch! This is so fucking bizarre. Yeah, the frame rate didn't drop going the other direction so bad it kicked us out. No. Oh my god, optimize your fucking textures, guys. And I mean, there. This is with DS Fix. This is with the fix. Because it was bad before. And DS Fix improved it a little. It's well, still bad. Luckily, Dark Souls 2 comes with. A yeah. PC port. So. Yeah, it's going to launch on PC. So presumably, it'll be a little better. I mean, I don't even know what spec is lagging behind. I hit all the uh, uh, recommended specs. Got plenty of RAM, a video card sufficient, enough processor. Um, it, it's prob The problem is... Our joy is too high. The game cannot process this such a lack of human despair. Oh, my God. Don't die. Don't die. Well, again, I'm moving slow as shit, and a slower frame rate makes me move slower. Makes them move slower, too. Yeah, but they get to react better. Oh my god, this is so fucking infuriating. You know, I don't mind so much when I get beaten by the game being hard. Hey, hey you're past the water wheel, chief. Yeah, I'm going back to the bonfire to get rid of the poison. Nah, just pat. Move but, on. No, I'm going back to the bonfire. You'll to get just have to fight these things again and get poisoned again. Just I move won't on. get poisoned again because I don't get poisoned until I go past the water wheel. I'm not going up there into unknown territory while poisoned. Plus, we're real close to that level up. And I would kind of like to be able to use our new club. So why not kill shit and go use our new club? Maybe the club sucks and we just go back to the axe like always. You never know. We've never gone more than ten minutes with anything other than the axe. We used the gr crystal greatsword for two hours. Not that any of it showed up in the footage because it got ruined. Oh my god, please get closer so I can stab you. Did you try to dodge me? You don't have permission to dodge me. 36 fucking souls. Cheap ass fucking bugs. Considering it's from a bug, that's a lot of souls. Yeah, yeah. Alright, how close are we? About a thousand away. Uh, 1700. We can get that real quick. Alright. Mm. What are you bitching about? Uh, 1700, real quick. You can suck it up. I'm bored. Oh, here, let me give you something to do. Drink. Those of you who aren't following what in the world just happened, every time I drink from the flask, Rob has to drink from his horn. His is full of Estus life energy. Mine's full of cheap alcohol. Because, you know, I'm not paying for that. Only your liver will pay. And as often as he gets himself hurt and has to heal, I mean, I do have a budget. Oh my god. 
That's why we need corporate sponsorship. I need. Have, a, have I another need drink. A... Back, have two. I, I need a case of Jack Daniels a week at this rate. Oh, you'll get sponsored, all right. By that, uh... An AA sponsor. Haha. Uh -huh. I was gonna say by that, uh, South African liquor that comes in a jerry can. Oh, yeah! I, uh, a friend showed us this... It comes... It's like $5 for three gallons or some shit of this liquor made in South Africa. And it comes in a big plastic gasoline can. So it looks like the kind of stuff you get... You get... Uh, uh, engine coolant in. It's really scary looking. I want it so badly. I fail to see how it can be anything other than both carcinogenic, uh, uh, teratogenic, and just plain toxic. I want it so bad it's not even funny. Yeah, dialysis usually isn't funny. <laughs> I think I can handle it. If some South African fancy boy can drink it, a good American South man can do it. South African fancy boy? I don't... I, I don't think you really understand South Africa. You you did... Did, did you see District 9? I did. You, you remember the slums? Right. You know, that's where they, they have people, right? It's aliens in the movie. But, but right now, p people. Yes. Okay. D did you see anything there that really just screamed fancy to you? The way they talk. It's very effeminate. Afrikaans sounds effeminate to you? A little bit. You're weird. I mean, what's her name? The, uh, the woman from Snow White. I don't, I don't know what you mean. The a the actress from South Africa. Are you talking? Are, okay, so you're using an example of a woman's speech to say that the language is. A no, no, I'm saying it works for her. Okay. Who am I thinking of? I don't know, but that's a terrible example to to judge See, a, a, a language. The the accent works for her, and she's hot. Uh huh. So if it works for a woman, it must be a feminine. You really don't seem to comprehend how, how accents work. I mean, the Southern Bell accent is a thing, right? So does that mean you have an effeminate accent? I don't have the same sort of Southern Bell accent you're referring to. And I'm sure they don't have the same sort of South African accent. You're just too damn foreign to hear it. Like people who think there's one British accent. When in England you can travel... Uh, from one city to the other and get a totally different accent. And when you take into account Wales and, and Scotland, it's just this morass of a country where the people speak entirely differently. If I remember correctly, there are 21 distinct American dialects. Okay. And based on where I live and have always lived, I fall into the Appalachian dialect. Uh -huh. The antebellum accent you're thinking of, that's more like the Delta. So that's further south. So how is the Appalachian accent either effeminate or, or not? It's just an accent. It's It doesn't have a... a you ever heard... There's two different kind of accents in German. There's Southern German... Which Bavarian. is that, like, hard, when you hear a Hitler speech, Ich ist mein Will. And then, there's that, whenever somebody's doing, like, Do you a, have an erection from quoting Hitler? <laughs> Jesus. I have an erection for many reasons. And then, there's that, like, Northern German that's whenever somebody's doing, like, a Euro trash impression that just sounds... Mein Handy. Yeah. Yeah. Ufa ifa tofa gile, that, that's how an accent can sound effeminate. Wow. Well, I don't think that's necessarily effeminate also, sounding. I know people from North Germany who don't sound like that. 
I find it very convenient that you just happen to know these people. German exchange students. They were pretty much the only country we got in my high school. Just Germans. Uh, Niels was from North Germany. Uh, Cora was from Dresden. I don't know whether that's north or south. I know it's east. I think it'd be more considered south. Because she always described herself as an East German girl. That has more to do with the fact that her family would... S where they spent their time... What side of the curtain? Yeah. But she never identified herself as, you know, Bavarian, North German, South German. She Right. We kind of put paid to that whole distinct parts of Germany. When we cut them in half, north, south, down the middle, said, you're east, you're west, go fuck yourselves. So, we kind of changed the landscape on well, their whole cultural identity. Well, is Dresden North Germany or South Germany? It's... I want to say, if I'm remembering my German map correctly, more south. It was a city that got firebombed into oblivion. You, you'd think that'd be the sort of thing you keep clear, detailed memory of. Oh, I can tell you all about the firebombing, but as far as its exact latitude and longitude, eh. But neither Niels nor Cora. I think you might have enough to upgrade. You're 118. I think I'm real close, and it'll be easier for me to just get this guy and go back uh. than risk not having it and have to double back again. So I'm just going to kill him, go get the strength, and then we'll whip out the big-ass club and see how it makes us feel. Sounds like my Thursday night. Ladies. Uh -huh. Well... You do generally use your club for asses. Oh. That's cold, man. Keep telling you. You can clean up going to a bear bar. Yeah, you tell me that, but it just feels misleading. I'm not... I'm not picking up what they'd be laying down. Oh, uh, not particularly ethical or... Kind, but just saying, you, you could do it. Trim your goatee up a little, get it nice and tidy. Yeah. Okay, so so I didn't need that one, but you know, be better safe than sorry. And oh, I may as well repair my shit so I don't. Yeah. And let's go ahead and check out that club. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna. It's gonna happen. Oh, damn. Yeah. Our armor fucked up from all that lava. Okay, let's pull out this big-ass club. All right, but... <sighs> oh, you meant the game. Yeah. Okay, this is a really heavy club. Where's it put our equip load at? Shit, we're over half. Jesus God! Holy dick! Damn! Try a double hander. This looks a lot like uh, what Baron Iron Scrotum was wielding. A little bit, except it's not iron and it's not curved enough. Shit. Go catch somebody with it. And it does overload us, but I still want to use it for a minute. And I mean, we're not so far past half that we can't work around it. Wham! 224 straight up. Not bad. Shit. I like how you just mashed the bug. Okay, it won't kill these two. Why do you think that? They're too fast. You think so? Kinda. Oh, or not. Damn. Wow. Oh, get out of the water. Get out of the water. Fuck. But get your axe out. Let's just go up the water wheel. The, our viewers deserve to see something on this video other I than you. I don't want to go up there poisoned. That's what I'm saying. Get your axe back out. Let's go up there. But I really like this club. And that's fine. We can address it when we show them something worth watching. Uh, Customer service, Sean. We're going to get our endurance up, so we're going to swing that thing around like it's a, it's a, fucking, a fucking tasty treat. It's going to happen. We're gonna get in the gym, we're gonna get our swole on. Uh, 
Carl's DB flies. Yep. I really feel like we could use some some weapon upgradiness, you know? Probably. We're gonna have to get some some increase in endurance. Yeah. Swinging these big heavy weapons around, we need to get off every fucking time. Hmm, I seem to recall talking about up and endurance. <laughs> Want to build for strength. Bless you. Strength gave us that big ass club. Which that club we is can't wonderful. Really use effectively. Oh yes, we can. We can, and we will. It's beautiful. We're gonna make good use of it. Okay. So, I gotta get off of it safely this time. Yeah, don't fuck it up. Well, it's something that I haven't done thus far. Jumping off of a moving platform onto something. You mean, pretty much, the defining characteristic of a platformer? Yeah. Which this is not. Okay, I'm up here. I hear creaking. Is that the... Probably the wheel. Yeah, it's probably... Okay, there's a ladder here. You go... Is there anything back here before I go up that ladder? Because I get the feeling up that ladder is where... Yeah, maybe more dildoman. No, I don't see any dildoman. Is that a ladder? Oh! He followed me! That's sweet. Did his friend follow me too? Yep. Yes. They always travel in pairs. Oh, he dodged. Got him. There you go. Swatting flies with an axe is an actual metaphor for overkill. And yet it's necessary here. That says a lot about Dark Souls. Yeah. Another ladder. Oh. Just keep going. Not because of the bug, but because there's a little tunnel here. There might be something. Mm. Mm. Shit, where's this going? Oh! There's a sniper! Yep, toxic too. Whew! Okay. Well, Let's gonna, just go up the ladder, John. I'm gonna wait here until the toxic goes away. Because if I get pinged with one more of those, yep. yeah, to toxin is, toxin bad. Okay. Let's go up that ladder. Excuse me, strange earwig looking thing. There better be something up here. Yeah. I think it's going to take us back up to where we're closer to that gate that opened. I mean, that seems like the sensible progression. I guess. Okay. Sniper! Ah, he got me with another one before I could do anything about it. Oh, shit, there's tons of them! Oh, fuck! Shit! Hellhounds! Yeah, I see them. I thought we were calling them hot dogs. Hot dogs. God! Damn it! All right, well, we're a little in over our heads, so we are going to regroup, and I'm almost out of liquor. Y'all have a good night.